god. I, I fuck off. <laughs> What's up guys, Zach here. Today we are going to be ranting about people that come to the pool while I'm working. I'm really angry. I'm really angry. I'm really angry about this, as you could probably tell by the tone of my voice. So, let's hop right into it. Number one, the parents that come up to me and ask if we have floaties or something we can help their kids swim with. For one, no, we don't. Two, why do you come without anything to help your kid swim? Your kid cannot swim, they're two inches tall, they're not gonna be able to touch in the water, and you're gonna sit outside the pool on your tablet, your phone, your laptop, and or read a book or something like that, and you're not gonna pay attention to your kid, and then your kid's gonna drown and die. So what I need you to do is bring a floaty for your kid because we are not giving him slash her one. Next one. The kids that come up to us and ask, do we have an extra pair of goggles? No, bring your own if you really want one that bad. Go to the store and buy one. We do not give them out. We are not a service provider of goggles and floaties. Okay, so don't ask for them. Okay, I already need to calm down. I'm already getting so angry and I'm only on like the second part. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't really bother me as much, but I know it bothers some people at where I work. The parents that hover over their kid, I can see where it bother me. Like, I don't, I, they don't trust me enough to be watching their kid. Oh, by the way, I'm a lifeguard if you didn't know that. <laughs> it's, it probably doesn't make any sense to you right now, but I'm a lifeguard, so yeah. Um, the parents that hover over their kids, like, make me feel so uncomfortable because it makes me feel like I'm not doing my job, which, eh, probably not. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm there to save your kid. If you want to hover over them, get in the water. Don't just stand outside the water and be like, like, right over their head where they can't breathe. Like, you're the damn sun watching over the earth. It's a child and they're swimming. Do not hover over them. Okay, this one aggravates me so much. The parent that thinks their kid does not have to follow the rules. Okay, they, like that one, like what? I've literally had parents come up to me and say, why can't my kid be in the lap lane? They're swimming lap. When I looked over and the kid was doing handstands. If that's swimming laps, then explain it to me. Like, write me an essay. Like, tell me. I've literally had a dad yell at me for not letting their kid in the lap lane because they, they were not swimming laps. So why would I let them in there? And then kids that like run or like do something, the parent come over, what do they do? And I'm like, they were running and they were like, don't yell at my kid. And I was like, no, I'm gonna yell at them. Just don't bring your kids to the pool if you don't want them to get yelled at by a stranger because your poor parenting skills are not helping us out. Okay, this one pisses me off so much. The kid, like, that's obviously doing something wrong and you whistle at them and they decide not to look or either they're not like paying attention, but they're not looking. I've whistled at kids five times in a row and they still wouldn't look at me. So parents, teach your kids to look when a whistle happens. No matter if they don't think they're doing anything wrong, just to look. So they know that what, the, like, the, if the lifeguard's yelling at a kid for doing, I just spit. If the lifeguard is yelling at a kid for doing something, that they know that they should not be doing the thing that the lifeguard's yelling at them for. You like, you feel like you understand, like, I, I know it's pretty hard for some of y'all, because y'all are so thick-headed with y'all's, like, ways of teaching kids. <coughs> 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 Okay, this one's about the water aerobics ladies. Every time they get in the water, the water could be 300 degrees. The water's too cold, fix it. I can't sit there and like, what's the guy who shoots fire out of his hand? I don't know. I'm not a fire bender where I shoot fire out of my hands and heat up the water for you. I can't heat it up. It would take hours. Like, we turn on the heater and it's set to like 86 degrees, which is pretty darn hot. You need to understand. If you don't want to, if you don't want to sit in that cold, 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 let me say cold water, get out. Because that would help me out because then it's less people out the water and possibly no one would get in because every single one of the water rooms like I said complained about it being cold. This one pisses off every single lifeguard. The ones that fake like they're drowning and they think it's so funny or the ones that lay on their stomach and are just floating there like, oh, I was holding my breath. No, stop. We literally get mini heart attacks every time we see a kid like either, anyways, if they're drowning at all. If we see a kid fake drowning, that like, we think they're drowning obviously, so it gives us a mini heart attack and we're like, do, do, what, what? <laughs> like literally that's what I, I, like I do. Um, so don't do it. It's disrespectful for one. I thought someone was here. I was like, bitch, it's only one team. 
actual drowners, okay? Don't come to the pool. Or if you're gonna come to the pool, stay where you can touch. The ones that go in the deep end and they jump off the diving board and they like, they literally start drowning and look right at you because they know you would jump in and save them. Like one day I'm just gonna be like, you know what, fuck it. I'm not getting in. You can drown, you can die. Or you can learn how to swim. It's the survival of the fittest. Everyone that cannot swim. Okay, and then the people that, the kids that are like 10 years old and still can't swim. Parents, what are you doing? That's like a life skill they need to learn. That's like survival skills. Like what if the world ends it and they're getting chased by zombies and they have to swim across the lake. They're dead. Sorry about it. They're, they're gonna drown or they're gonna get eaten by zombies. So you decide. So teach your kid how to swim. This is my last one. The kid that you'll yell at and they'll go snitch on you to like another lifeguard or to like someone that's higher up because they feel like you're just yelling at them for no reason. Like what? Like why? Like what do you think you're getting out of this? Like I'm gonna snitch on this lifeguard and get him in trouble. No. We literally go back in the guard room and laugh about it right after because it's so funny that you thought that they would believe you that I was being really rude about it which I probably was but why even try it? There's like no point. After like saying all this I'm not like I don't really get I'm not really angry if you're still here or if, like you're pissed off and you like, clicked off the video I really don't get angry about this It makes my day fly by because it gives me something to get pissed off at and usually I'm mad like time flies So like keep on doing like don't really like keep on doing it. don't the last one I mean the second to last one don't actually drown <laughs> Cause I don't want to have to jump in. But all the other ones that like little small things like like don't do it on purpose But like I'm not mad about it like water aerobics ladies, complain about the cold water. Do it, because I don't know. It makes you happy, I guess. I'm gonna, okay, so I'm uploading Fridays and Sundays, but if I get a lot, like, a lot of things to rant about, I think I'm gonna upload those on Wednesdays. But I'm not gonna put that anywhere because it might not happen. Uploads on Fridays and Sundays, and then maybe Wednesdays that are gonna be rant videos. But this rant video is going up on Friday. That's all I have for today, and like, subscribe, hit my notification bell. If you want to get notification when I I post a video I don't know why I'm doing this I'm okay I'm going on you now a lot now because I, I did it last night it was really fun I like met some cool people got some subscribers that way so I'm going on you now um, it's the same name as my YouTube channel so um, it follow me on Twitter and turn my notifications on on Twitter and I'll tweet like 30 minutes before I get on so that'd be cool like you'll be able to know when I get on you now and you'll be able to go in there and talk to me which probably won't be that fun but okay last night I thought I was like everyone was like having a lot of fun I will see y'all the next one bye